So with the V Jump December celebration thing that's going on over in Japan right now, there's a lot of news that's going to be coming out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Not just with Cyberstorm Access or whatever the set after Photon Hypernova is called, but also potential for the game to change drastically. I'm talking to new anime, new manga, new products. Everything and more is going on at this Jump Fest event. Possibly a brand new Master World change. So let's dive on into it, shall we? Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. Currently sitting at 1,042 subscribers. I really do appreciate all of the support. Channel's been kind of slowing down on growth a little bit, and it makes sense because, I mean, as we're going to be talking about in this video, Yu-Gi-Oh! is really slowing down right now, but the Jump Festa is going to hopefully bring some good news. I hope to God it brings some good news. And by good news, I mean what we can expect for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, the OCG just got their brand new ban list. And on top of that, with Jump Festa, a lot of things tend to come out that's anime related at these Jump Festa events. You know, I'm talking like Dragon Ball related stuff. That's Some of that's already happened. Uh, other animes, I think as well, are there like One Piece, Attack on Titan, things like that. But Yu-Gi-Oh! is also there, obviously, because it's also an anime. It's also a manga, all that fun stuff. And what a lot of people are speculating is that we are going to have a new Master Rule revision or a new summoning mechanic, something Master Rule related to happen to Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, for those of you who are newer to Yu-Gi-Oh! and probably like Avery, what the hell are you talking about? Master Rule change. So the Master Rule is like what we saw when Link Summoning was added or Pendulum Summoning was added or when they did the Master Rule revision where now monsters that were not Pendulums could, could be summoned to a main monster zone instead of the extra monster zone is basically how it was changed. So with all these Master Rule, mas if I could talk today, Master Rule revisions, <laughs> try saying that 10 times fast, you get rule changes, you get like in intricacy changes. And by that, I mean like, you know, years ago they took away priority. That wasn't a master rule change per se. That was an inherent rule in the game that they changed. But the master rule revisions and changes in new summoning mechanics can change those things in the game, right? So these Jump Festa things are typically where a lot of that Yu-Gi-Oh! news comes from. Here's the issue though. I really don't want a master rule revision. I don't want a new summoning mechanic. Honestly, I personally am summon mechanic out. You know, we have synchro summons, we have link summons, exceed summons, pendulum summons. Like we we have so much. You know, I remember years ago, back in the day, even before pendulum summoning came out, people were like, we need a summoning mechanic called hyper summon where you can summon a bunch of monsters. And we got that basically in the form of pendulum summoning. Then even after people were like, oh no, we still need a summoning type called hyper summoning. And it's like, bro, like, nah, like as the, as cool as the name sounds, like that's that's basically what pendulum summoning is. And so the only thing I could really think that Konami could possibly change with Yu-Gi-Oh! is at this point is like what we saw in the Link Brains anime, which I watched for a little bit, but then I just I got out of it. I just I wasn't into it. Where some spell cards would have link arrows, which would be really, really cool. Like, could you imagine? If something like Dragon Link was able to play more synchros or exceeds or something, and they had a spell card that opened up like two or three zones, like, you know, you play it in the middle column and it opens up the left, the right, and the middle, like that would be really cool. You know, we saw that in the anime with some spell card where like it had arrows and it was in the background, so it just opened up more zones. It was really cool. And I would still love for Konami to do something like that. I think that that would add, you know, a little bit of more spice to the Link summoning mechanic. At the same time, though, Link Summoning is arguably kind of confusing still, at least even for me. Like, I keep on thinking I can use something like Nightmare Unicorn as a Link 1, 2, or 3 material, but it's like, no, 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 you can only use it as like a Link 1 or a 2, but then, you know, you've got that World Sea Dragon Zamantis or whatever it's called, Zelantis. It's a Link 5, so you can use a Link 4 access code talker to make it. And like, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just being an idiot and I'm completely overlooking something, but like, it doesn't make sense to me how Nightmare Unicorn can only be used as like a Link 1 or 2 and not a 3. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. But I just feel like that there's still untapped potential with just Yu-Gi-Oh cards in general being able to be used in ways with like, let's say, Link Arrows or something like that, right? And so I don't really feel like a Master Rule addition is really needed and not even really a revision. You know, the only sort of revision that maybe Konami of the TCG would make to the game is to get rid of same effects on chain, which for those of you who don't know, in the OCG, they don't have, I believe it's called SQOEC. 
basically it's the same effects on chain. So in the OCG, the way that chain links resolve and work is let's say that you summon something like a tier element Kit Kalos, but you have these other trigger effects to resolve. You have to activate the effect of Kit Kalos, ask the opponent for a response. If they don't have a response, then you go, you know, okay, chain link two response, chain link three response. Whereas if in the TCG, if you're a turn player, you're gonna go, okay, Kit Kalos chain link one, Kelbic chain link two, uh, Aigido chain link three, so on and so forth. Then the opponent can respond with their trigger effects. But that's not how it works in the OCG. I don't know if the TCG will really get rid of that because that inherently is a game mechanic in the TCG that's not in the OCG that allows for skillful playing in the TCG that's not offered in the OCG. That's why you can chain block in the TCG. You can't do that shit in the OCG. So if you're trying to chain block around an Ash by, you know, chain blocking with like, you know, a chain link one and a chain link two, whatever, to not let the opponent ash you because they have to respond to something that's not like, say, a Sangin. Can't do that in OCG. The opponent has a chance to respond to each individual thing. So, you know, maybe they go that route or maybe they just leave it alone. You know, I feel like the game is so used to getting every three to four years a rule change or a rule adjustment. And we haven't had that because there is no Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. You know, they've been focusing on Go Rush or whatever the fuck it is. And like, you know, I I, it's, I don't really feel like that an anime is always necessarily needed because I feel like that the way Konami is going about making product right now and appealing to that older generation is really cool. Like Maze of Memories, I'm super excited for. I'm super excited to see what they do with Gate Guardian support. You know, are they going to give them level four searchers that are like Stratoses or Gadgets or something? I'm excited for that. You know, you don't really need an anime for that. <clears throat> and if they do announce an anime, if they haven't already, I'm making this December 13th. I don't know what the dates are for this stuff and whatever. Um, but if they do announce like a new anime, you know, it needs to be something that a lot of people can relate to. You know, that's why a lot of people like GX, especially season four that didn't get dubbed and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds because like card games on motorcycles, like that's cool. You know, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V, the main character's riding around on a fucking hippo. Like that, that's not cool. That's idiotic. <laughs> like real talk, that, that's just dumb. You know, GX was cool because, you know, it was it was a young kid, Jaden Yugi, going to school, growing up, learning how to play better. You see him get a new deck. And then in the final season, which is what people say is the best season, he's like more grown up. He's like a young teen, young adult. He's lost like his fun in the game. And, and like then he duels against Yugi Moto. Like that, that, that kind of shit was cool. You know, they kind of did some stuff like that with Arc V where they brought back like, you know, uh, what's his name, Alistair or whatever, uh, Aster Phoenix, uh, you know, they brought in these different characters from different anime series, but still though, it doesn't capture the love of what 5Ds and GX and even the original anime had. And I think that they need to go back to that. You know, even if they just did an anime where they focused on Yugi without the Pharaoh, like there's, there's a lot of possibility there. There's a lot of things that they could pull from that old nostalgia that I think a lot of people would enjoy, both new and old fans alike. And I don't really think you need a master rule revision for that. I think the game is enough crazy as it is. I wouldn't necessarily say it's complicated, but it is definitely something that you gotta study up to understand how, you know, the game works. You know, you're not gonna go into your locals playing a 40 card normal monster deck and expect to do well. Like you need to know how the game functions. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is there something I'm totally missing about this, maybe something that was announced that I didn't realize. These are just my thoughts. And, you know, I've been playing this game for years. I've seen it change over time. And I understand that Konami wants to keep the game fresh, but we're in a tier zero format. The only thing that's going to make this fresh right now is a brand new fucking ban list that we're not even going to get till probably like January or February. So guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.